In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then we also will appear with him in glory. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hallelujah. Welcome to St. Michael and the Angels for the service of morning prayer on this the fourth on Thursday in the fourth week of Easter. Let us pray. You are God, our rich in mercy, out of the great love with which you loved us. Even when we were dead through our sins, you made us alive together with Christ. You raised us up in union with him and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that you might show the immeasurable, immeasurable riches of your grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. By your Spirit at work within us, you do far more abundantly than all we ask or think. To you be glory in the Church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Psalm this morning is Psalm number 118. We give thanks to you, O Lord, for you are gracious, and your love endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, God's love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, God's love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, God's love endures forever. I called to you, O Lord, in my distress, and your answer was to set me free. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. For what can human power do to me? The Lord is on my side to help me. I will triumph over my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put any trust in princes. The nations all surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I drove them back. They hemmed me in. They hemmed me in on every side. But in the name of the Lord, I drove them back. They swarmed around me like bees. They blazed like fire among the thorns. But in the name of the Lord, I drove them back. They pressed hard upon me so that I almost fell. But the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my defence and has become my deliverer. There are shouts of joy and deliverance in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does mighty things. The right hand of the Lord raises up. The right hand of the Lord does mighty things. I shall not die, but live and proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord indeed has punished me, but did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of the temple, that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, through which the righteous shall enter. I will thank you because you have, you have answered me, and you have become my deliverer. The stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, O Lord, we pray. Lord, we pray you to give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and has given us light. With branches in your hands, go forward in procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will extol you. We give thanks to you, O Lord, for you are gracious and your love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Well, our first reading this morning it comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 34, beginning at the first verse. The Lord said to Moses, Cut two tablets of stone like the former ones, and I will write on the tablets the words that were on the former tablets which you broke. Be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai, and present yourself there to me, on the top of the mountain. No one shall come up with you, and do not let anyone be seen throughout all the mountain. 
and do not let the flocks or herds graze in front of that mountain. So Moses cut two tablets of stone like the former ones, and he rose early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name the Lord. The Lord passed by, uh, passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for a thousandth generation, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, yet by no means clearing the guilty, but visiting the iniquity of the parents upon the children and the children's children and the third and fourth generation. Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found favour in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. He said, I hereby make a covenant. Before all your people I will perform marvels such as have not been performed in all the earth or in any nation. And all the people among whom you live shall see the work of the Lord, for it is an awesome thing that I will do with you. Verse 27 The Lord said to Moses, Write these words, in accordance with these words I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. He was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Moses came down from Mount Sinai. As he came down from the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand, Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. When Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses, the skin of his face was shining, and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the leaders of the congregation returned to him, and Moses spoke with them. Afterward all the Israelites came near, and he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. When Moses had finished speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But whenever Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he would take the veil off until he came out. And when he came out, and told the Israelites what he, what he had been commanded, the Israelites would see the face of Moses, that the skin of his face was shining, and Moses would put the veil on his face again until he went in to speak with them. With him, excuse me. Please excuse this uh, leaf blower that's happening outside. This happens every week. It's collecting all the leaves down the street. This takes all morning, by the way. This is not just for this 10 minutes, it's, it's all morning. Woohoo! Second reading is uh, from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, beginning at the first verse. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days. And when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority, for it has been given over to me and I give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered him, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to protect you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. 
when the devil had finished every test, he departed from him until an opportune time. what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the sorrowful, for they shall find consolation. Blessed are those of a gentle spirit, for they shall have the earth for their possession. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst to see right prevail for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are those who show mercy, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are those whose hearts are pure, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called God's children. Blessed are those who have suffered persecution for the cause of right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, your Son, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life for all creation. Grant us grace to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth, and to share his risen life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy and eternal God, in you we live and move and have our being. In all our cares and occupations, guide and govern us by your Spirit that we may both remember and reveal your presence through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us here at St Michael and the Angels for the service of morning prayer. I do apologise for this leaf blower noise that we have to put up with today. Unfortunately, not much I can do about that one. Please join us at 12.35 for spiritual communion and 4pm for evening prayer. Thank you for joining in on these prayers and uh, hearing of scripture. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord direct our hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. Amen.